where we are in America right now, the, the hypocrisy of having in God we trust on our currency, but our nation is not trusting in God. We've not made the connection about the fact that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and God blesses the American economy. And so anytime we see that there's a, a separation from God, there's a separation from his blessing, we can expect that the economy is going to fail. We see that whether it's through props or through the rain, through the days of Joseph, when God is center, when he's front and center in a nation, his blessing defines uh, what happens with the economy in the nation. And so we need to see America come back to the heart of God. How, when you say it's not the, in the center of the heart of the nation, um, so how do, you, how do you change that? You know, what are you doing there in Chicago, James, to help pull that back? You know, we're continuing to do, to preach the, the word of God. And I think that the, the great thing about where America is right now is the contrast. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 2, Isaiah prophesied that the time would come when darkness would cover the earth and deep darkness would cover the people. We're seeing that right now, but he speaks to God's people and says that the Lord's light will arise over you. Uh, his glory is going to be seen, you know, in you and the Gentiles will come to the brightness of your rising. As, as troubling as things are right now, I think this is the greatest opportunity for those who are truly born again, who truly know the Lord, who are filled with the Holy Spirit. That's going to be such a great contrast between darkness and light. Uh, the light is shining even brighter right now. So I hope believers are encouraged about the, the move of the Spirit that's taking place in our nation right now. When the enemy comes in, I always like to say, when the word says, like a flood, the enemy is not coming like a flood. The flood is the anointing and the power of God that's going to wash over the nation when God's people uh, continue to seek him and surrender into a place of into a place of total surrender. I'm hopeful right now, and I'm thankful that the grace of God, I believe, is abounding more than more more than sin, uh, more than we've ever seen it before. It's a great time right now. All right, let me let me go, Pastor Rank. I want you to watch this Hillary Clinton clip because she thinks you just don't understand. Watch. <laughs> understand why this is even a hard choice, really. Yeah. I don't understand it. Yeah. But we have to go through the election and hopefully people will realize what's at stake because it's an existential uh, question. I, what kind of country we're going to have, what kind of democracy we're going to have. And people who blow that off are not paying attention. That's right. They're not paying attention, Pastor Hank. I actually agree with that <laughs> statement. What do you think? I don't think she's paying attention to what this fake administration has done to our country, that her and the loony liberal ideas, uh, their policies are not working. That's why by droves, people are leaving the Democratic Party and they're coming over to something that makes more sense. How about this? Make America great again. And I like what President Trump said with his Bible. Bible. Let's make America pray again. Let's bring God back to our country. We have to remember Proverbs 29 says that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when they're not, they groan. Too many people are in fear and they think somehow that America is finished. The fact that you still have a man, Donald Trump, still standing after all the indictments and blow after blow, he still stands because there is an anointing of preservation upon this man, but also upon this country. And the fact that this eclipse, I want to just say this, Nineveh, everyone's talking about all these cities. Go back, look at last night's flashpoint that have to do with Nineveh. If you understand what God did with Nineveh, it was a, it was an a redemptive act of God. He showed mercy that triumphed over what should have been judgment. And eight is the number of resurrection, new beginnings, and something being raised back to life that has to do with covenant. God's got a covenant with this nation, and I believe the words of Donald Trump is prophesying what God's intent prophetically is for this country, that he has a redemptive plan of help and hope, and we need to draw near to God. We need to bind up the enemy. We'd love to hack all kinds of crazy stuff, but we are getting our country back. And I believe those words I just heard from Donald Trump is the sound of that reversal and reset that the Lord has been saying. And we don't need to fear. We're on course for something divine about to take place in this country. Let me go to you, James Ward. I want to get your opinion on all that. Yeah, so I'm actually thinking about the word of God in Acts chapter 17, verse uh, 26 or so. When it says that God himself um, from one blood has made all the people, all the nations of the world to dwell on the face of the earth. And the word of God says that God has predetermined the times and the boundaries of the nations. 
So we got to understand that this is a theological issue, man. This is an issue of truth uh, concerning the scriptures that cannot be broken. And we have to understand, you know, Pastor Gene, that in every, in every nation, there are three laws that govern every society. There's spiritual law, there's moral law, and there's, there's civil law, which is what we call constitutional law, the lowest kind of law. Until we come back to understand spiritual law and moral law that governs America and included in that spiritual and that moral law is God himself has predetermined the times and the boundaries of the nation. To have an open border brings our nation into disobedience and rebellion against the will of God. And I think we're inviting God's uh, judgment and his disfavor on our nation right now. we got to return this truth to mainstream society. Mm -hmm. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus, the name that is above every name. We call the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, over America and declare that Jesus is Lord and America must be saved, Lord God. We take authority over every power of darkness, Lord God, and we release the power of heaven. We thank you for an outpouring of your spirit, Lord God, that revival has come, Lord God. Awaken your church. We thank you for your grace and your good hand upon this nation. We declare it to be so. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.